This video is part one of a three video series about adjusting the alignment of your Baja Board S2 wheels. Uh, as part one, we're looking at adjusting the preload of your shock absorber. Wheel alignment is very important because it affects the efficiency or the range of your ride, it affects the tire wear, and it also affects the handling of your board. So it's very important that you do this as the first thing out of the box. In an ideal world, you would want the drive shaft of your S2 to be completely level when you are standing on the board because that is the most efficient way in which they will operate. The level of your drive shaft is affected by the sag, how much the board goes down by once you jump on. Now, when there's no one on the board, you will see that the drive shaft is actually angled up slightly in a kind of an A uh, position. So when you're jumping on the board, the actual spring will compress a bit and that will lower the board, causing the drive shaft itself to level out. Now, how much the spring compresses is going to dictate how much um, the board drops by and therefore how much the actual drive shaft will level out. So this is where you'll have to come in at the top and adjust the preload of the spring to make sure that you achieve as level of a drive shaft as possible. To increase the preload, you rotate this uh, you're facing towards the, the red button. You're rotating this uh, clockwise to tighten the spring. So you're increasing the load, you're making the spring stiffer. So when you're on the board, it will compress less. To decrease the preload, you release the spring, you loosen the spring by rotating the cap anti-clockwise. So this, as the spring elongates, it becomes softer and softer and the board will sag more. It's gonna be the first time on the board, you're gonna have a trial and error method of adjusting the preload slightly, getting on the board, having a look, taking a photo maybe, and making sure you gradually get to a point where you get, you get a level drive shaft. An easier way maybe is to put the board on the ground and have a friend of a similar weight jump on as you adjust the actual spring itself. Now the preload is more important at the back because that's where the drive shafts are. So you wanna start at the back and get that right. At the front, it's gonna be a bit more forgiving because you have no drive shaft to speak of. So you basically just want to match the, uh, the back preload to the front. So you'll see here, there's also a rep button on, uh, on the end of the, of the uh, shock absorber. This is actually the rebound adjuster. It adjusts the speed at which the damper of the shock absorber re recovers or rebounds once it's been compressed. So the faster it is, which in this case is as anti-clockwise as you can go, the faster the rebound is, the more bouncy the actual board will feel. The slower the rebound is, the stiffer the board will feel because the actual um, damper won't be moving as quickly. Ideally, our setup is get it to all the way to the anti-clockwise or to the fast position, and we go back five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. And we leave it there. You are free to experiment with this and find out whatever you like. And obviously, you can put the front and the back at different settings, but this is gonna be up to you. Now that you've successfully set up the shock absorber, we can now look at adjusting the toe angle and the camber of the wheel, which uh, we'll link in the description below.